Welcome to another video from Guelao 60. Today we're walking Nanhu Lake with some friends and I thought that I'd, I'd uh, walk through this area. People come here to practice their musical instruments, flutes and uh, I'm not sure what that is but and they come here to dance and to walk around the lake. There's a there's a there's a a, a running path around the lake or a track I guess. So you get all of these girls dancing or so you got musical instruments, you got dancing, now you got this guy up here, I'll walk by, and uh, Mr. Tai Chi. Check this out. Oh yeah, you see they've got a lot of stuff going on here in China and it's it's sort of neat because people are active, not just the younger people, but the older people are active too. So I'm wa walking through a dance group here, gonna get stepped on, but that's okay. Let's watch him dance a little bit longer. <laughs> hey girls, let's dance. And there's a little dancer there. <laughs> and yeah, you're starting to see why I, I like China so much because you know there's things going on here all the time. This is 9:30 in the morning. And why did they why do they come here? Well, look at this this running track that's uh, that's around probably one of the most beautiful places in all of all of Nanning City is uh, Nanhu Lake. Check this out guys. Surrounded by high rises and uh, it's got a bridge in the middle. We might make it over there today uh, depending on how much energy we've got but it's it's miles around this lake and it's a it's a it's, it's beautiful it's uh, October the I think 18th and it's uh, shirt sleeve weather you gotta love that in Saskatchewan Boise it's probably snow on the ground and colder in the witch's tit yeah I feel I feel for you guys this morning we stopped on the street and had manto it's a, a steamed bun and some soy milk for breakfast yeah in a t-shirt and shorts and it's not just one group of people. It's group after group of people. Check these guys out. They seem like they know what they're doing. They've been at it for a while. And then on the other side, well, they don't quite have it together as much. But everybody's exercising and that's, that's a good thing. All of these people dancing and running and walking around the lake it's all exercise, it all keeps them healthy and young, like me. Or <laughs> maybe I should be doing some more exercising. Even the public bathrooms, like these are the public bathrooms. Even the public bathrooms look pretty darn nice in this place. Every, everything at Nanhu Lake is, is, is pretty. It's, a, it's, a, it's built for the people, by the people. It's People's Republic, you got it. You always hear about all of the pollution in China. Well, I'm walking around Nanhu Lake and uh, the city is all around me. And you show me where the pollution is. See, the, the Chinese government and, uh, and the people have uh, taken upon themselves to clean the air, clean the water. There's a, there's a big push on for electric vehicles and such. A place like Nanning, seven million people 
the air is just as good here as it is anywhere else. It's 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 uh, it's clean. The streets are clean. The water's clean. Every everything is so damn clean. It's it's the the pollution and the dirty is the China of of yesterday. It's not the China of today. Pretty nice, eh? You can see behind me the the grooming that that goes into. Uh, taking care of the park here and look at all of the high-rises all the way around like seriously let's get over here close clo close to the jump the meridian oh yeah okay here's a panoramic view of this side of Nanhu Lake Rinky dinky little city in China, I think not. This place is growing like crazy and it's getting more beautiful as it grows. And the air's getting cleaner, the water's getting cleaner, the, the streets are cleaner, the people are, are uh, healthier, happier. Yeah, the days of old China are gone, man. This is, this is the new China. This track around Nanhu Lake is eight kilometers long. I didn't know that when I started traveling with with the group, but I guess I got an eight kilometer walk. Wow, probably be about five kilometers left. But you know, the, the surroundings are so nice. The weather is so good. It's 25 degrees out today. It is a perfect day to be out and about. There's a, a little bit of cloud. Yeah. <laughs> But look at this place. This place is beautiful. Yep. Nanning, China. Nanning, Guangxi, China. One of those places that's uh, one of China's best kept secrets. And there's these exercise places all along here where everybody exercises. Look at this young lady exercising. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strange young lady. I'm not, we're not looking at her butt now, are we? Okay, so, and yeah, another guy. He looks like he's in pretty good shape too. But if you look, the people in China are in really, really good shape. And it's because the government puts out these, uh, these little exercise areas and people actually utilize them in the, in the West. I doubt if they would. Pretty good, eh? Just like anything else in China, the parks are huge. This, as, as I say, the, the track around this place is eight kilometers long. And you can see the, the high rises and everything on both sides. Just think, because this is a semi-tropical area, just think how much work goes into taking care of a park like this. Like, it's, a, it's amazing and clean and right smack dab in the middle of the city. And this is just one of the parks. Like they have many parks here. It's it's uh, it's one of the one of the pluses about China. They they take uh, they take this stuff seriously. Leisure time, uh, exercise, uh, just outdoor entertainment. Where in the states or in Canada, sure we got parks, but you could you could shoot a cannon through the park and never hit anybody. Here it's totally different. And this isn't just in the summertime. This is summer, uh, summer and winter. It's uh, it's like this all the time here. What a beautiful place. Wow. So these guys are harvesting something. I just don't know what it is. I'll get Wei Fong over here. Check this out. Hip waiters, chest waiters, and uh, what are they what are they getting here? Look at down here with this lady here. Yeah, 
Okay, I don't know how do you say it. Okay, so there's a there's my next challenge for you people out there. Lanza. What is Lanza? Okay, it comes from a lotus and it's a little round thing and you can eat it. Putting the sweet you know dessert and Oh it goes into dessert and it turns white? Yeah. Okay, well you guys tell me what it is. Just a, just a second. Let's get a close up. See, after being here for 16 plus years, I'm still learning stuff about China. This I had no idea. So we'll uh, we'll wait for somebody to to comment on that one because even the people here don't know. Wow, that speak. Wow, they know what it is, but they don't know the English version of it. And that's another video from Greylow 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button, and thanks for watching. Bye now. quite the same as it is in the parks in the, in the western world but it's about the same you know people are out singing songs and having a good time and dressing up in little outfits and all of those taking pictures of people taking pictures yeah yeah <laughs> see this is China it's a friendly place everybody's out having a good time there's uh, you notice there's no drug addicts or, or uh, tents in this park. You know why? Because they don't allow it. Yeah. This is here for the people. The, the, the people to use and, and not to live in. Yeah. Parks in China are a dream compared to parks in the West.